Jiangsu, Jiangsu formerly romanized as Kiangsu, is an eastern central coastal province of the People's Republic of China. It is one of the leading provinces in finance, education, technology and tourism, with its capital in Nanjing. Jiangsu is the third smallest, but the fifth most populous and the most densely populated of the 23 provinces of the People's Republic of China. Jiangsu has the highest GDP per capita of Chinese provinces and second highest GDP of Chinese provinces, after Guangdong. Jiangsu borders Shandong in the north, Anhui to the west, and Zhejiang and Shanghai to the south. Jiangsu has a coastline of over 1,000 kilometers (620 miles) along the Yellow Sea, and the Yangtze River passes through the southern part of the province. Since the Sui and Tang dynasties, Jiangsu has been a national economic and commercial center, partly due to the construction of Grand Canal. Cities such as Nanjing, Suzhou, Wuxi, Changzhou, and Shanghai, separated from Jiangsu in 1927, are all major Chinese economic hubs. Since the initiation of economic reforms in 1990, Jiangsu has become a focal point for economic development. It is widely regarded as China's most developed province measured by its Human Development Index (HDI). Jiangsu is home to many of the world's leading exporters of electronic equipment, chemicals and textiles. It has also been China's largest recipient of foreign direct investment since 2006. Its 2014 nominal GDP was more than 1 trillion US dollars, which is the sixth highest of all country subdivisions. Topic name Jiangsu's name is a compound of the first elements of the names of the two cities of Jiangning, now Nanjing, and Suzhou. The abbreviation for this province is Su, Su, the second character of its name. Topic History. During the earliest Chinese dynasties, the area that is now Jiangsu was far away from the center of Chinese civilization, which was in the northwest Henan. It was home of the Wai Yi, Wai Yi an ancient ethnic group. During the Zhou dynasty more contact was made, and eventually the state of Wu centered at Gusu, now Suzhou, appeared as a vassal to the Zhou dynasty in South Jiangsu, one of the many hundreds of states that existed across northern and central China at that time. Near the end of the spring and autumn period, Wu became a great power under King Helu of Wu, and defeated in 484 BC the state of Qi, a major power in the north in modern-day Shandong province, and contest for the position of overlord over all states of China. The state of Wu was subjugated in 473 BC by the state of Yu, another state that had emerged to the south in modern-day Zhejiang province. Yu was in turn subjugated by the powerful state of Chu from the west in 333 BC. Eventually the state of Qin swept away all the other states, and unified China in 221 BC. Under the reign of the Han Dynasty 206 BC to 220 AD, Jiangsu was removed from the centers of civilization in the North China Plain, and was administered under two Zhou provinces, Shuzhou Province in the north, and Yangzhou Province in the south. During the Three Kingdoms period, southern Jiangsu became the base of the eastern Wu 222 to 280, whose capital, Jianye, Jianyi is modern Nanking later renamed to Nanjing. When nomadic invasions overran northern China in the 4th century, the imperial court of the Jin dynasty moved to Jiangking. Cities in southern and central Jiangsu swelled with the influx of migrants from the north. Jiangking remained as the capital for four successive southern dynasties and became the largest commercial and cultural center in China. After the Sui dynasty united the country in 581, the political center of the country shifted back to the north, but the Grand Canal was built through Jiangsu to link the central plain with the prosperous Yangtze Delta. The Tang dynasty 618 relied on southern Jiangsu for annual deliveries of grain. It was during the Song dynasty which saw the development of a wealthy mercantile class and emergent market economy in China, that South Jiangsu emerged as a center of trade. From then onwards, South Jiangsu, especially major cities like Suzhou or Yangzhou, would be synonymous with opulence and luxury in China. Today South Jiangsu remains one of the richest parts of China, and Shanghai, arguably the wealthiest and most cosmopolitan of mainland China cities, is a direct extension of South Jiangsu culture. 
The Yurchin Jin dynasty gained control of North China in 1127 during the Jin Song Wars, and Wai River, which used to cut through North Jiangsu to reach the Yellow Sea, was the border between the North, under the Jin, and the South, under the Southern Song dynasty. The Mongols took control of China in the 13th century. The Ming dynasty, which was established in 1368 after driving out the Mongols who had occupied China, initially put its capital in Nanjing. Following a coup by Zhu Di, later the Yongle Emperor, however, the capital was moved to Beijing, far to the north. The naming of the two cities continues to reflect this. Nanjing literally means southern capital, while Beijing literally means northern capital. The entirety of modern-day Jiangsu as well as neighboring Anhui province kept their special status, however, as territory governed directly by the central government, and were called Nanjili, Nanjili southern directly governed. Meanwhile, South Jiangsu continued to be an important center of trade in China. Some historians see in the flourishing textiles industry at the time incipient industrialization and capitalism, a trend that was however aborted, several centuries before similar trends took hold in the West. The Qing dynasty changed this situation by establishing Nanjili as Jiangnan province. In 1666, Jiangsu and Anhui were split apart as separate provinces, and Jiangsu was given borders approximately the same as today. In 1727, the Tamin or idle people of Che Qiang province, a Ningpo name still existing, the Yo Hu or music people of Shanxi province, the Si Min or small people of Qiangsu province, and the Tan Ka or egg people of Canton to this day the boat population there, were all freed from their social disabilities, and allowed to count as free men." With the start of the Western incursion into China in the 1840s, the rich and mercantile South Jiangsu was increasingly exposed to Western influence. Shanghai, originally an unremarkable little town of Jiangsu, quickly developed into a metropolis of trade, banking, and cosmopolitanism, and was split out later as an independent municipality. South Jiangsu also figures strongly in the Taiping Rebellion 1851-1864, a massive and deadly rebellion that attempted to set up a Christian theocracy in China. It started far to the south, in Guangdong province, swept through much of South China, and by 1853, had established Nanjing as its capital, renamed as Tianjing, Tianjing heavenly capital. The Republic of China was established in 1912, and China was soon torn apart by warlords. Jiangsu changed hands several times, but in April 1927, Chiang Kai-shek established a government at Nanking. He was soon able to bring most of China under his control. This was however interrupted by the Second Sino-Japanese War, which began full-scale in 1937. On December 13, 1937, Nanjing fell, and the combined atrocities of the occupying Japanese for the next three months would come to be known as the Nanjing Massacre. Nanjing was the seat of the collaborationist government of East China under Wang Jingwei, and Jiangsu remained under occupation until the end of the war in 1945. After the war, Nanking was once again the capital of the Republic of China, though now the Chinese Civil War had broken out between the Kuomintang government and communist forces, based further north, mostly in northeast China. The decisive Waihai campaign was fought in northern Jiangsu, it resulted in Kuomintang defeat, and the communists were soon able to cross the Yangtze River and take Nanking. The Kuomintang fled southward and eventually ended up in Taipei, from which the Republic of China government continues to administer Taiwan, Pescadoras, and its neighboring islands, though it also continues to claim technically, at least, Nanjing as its rightful de jure capital. After communist takeover, Peking formerly Piping, later spelled as Beijing was made capital of the People's Republic, and Nanjing was demoted to be the provincial capital of Jiangsu. The economic reforms of Deng Xiaoping initially focused on the south coast of China, in Guangdong province, which soon left Jiangsu behind, starting from the 1990s they were applied more evenly to the rest of China. Suzhou and Wuxi, two southern cities of Jiangsu in close proximity to neighboring Shanghai, have since become particularly prosperous, being among the top ten cities in China in terms of gross domestic product and outstripping the provincial capital of Nanjing. The income disparity between North Jiangsu and South Jiangsu however remains large. Geography <laughs> <laughs> Jiangsu is flat, with plains covering 68% of its total area water covers another 
Most of the province stands not more than 50 meters (160 feet) above sea level. Jiangsu also has a well-developed irrigation system, which earned it, especially the southern half, the moniker of Shui Shang, Shui Xiang, Land of Water. The southern city of Suzhou has so many canals that it has been dubbed Venice of the East or the Venice of the Orient. The Grand Canal of China cuts through Jiangsu from north to south, crossing all the east-west river systems. Jiangsu also borders the Yellow Sea. The Yangtze River, the longest river of China, cuts through the province in the south and reaches the East China Sea, which divides the region into two parts, more urban, prosperous south and more poorer, rural north, and these two parts has a tense division. Mount Yuntai, near the city of Lianyungang, is the highest point in Jiangsu, at an altitude of 625 meters feet above sea level. Large lakes in Jiangsu include Lake Tai, the largest, Lake Hongs, Lake Gaoyou, Lake Luoma, and Lake Yangcheng. Before 1194 AD, the Wai River cut through North Jiangsu to reach the Yellow Sea. The Wai River is a major river in central China, and it was the traditional border between North China and South China. Since 1194 AD, the Yellow River further to the north changed its course several times, running into the Wai River in North Jiangsu each time instead of its other usual path northwards into Bohai Bay. The silting caused by the Yellow River was so heavy that after its last episode of hijacking, the Wai River ended in 1855. The Wai River was no longer able to go through its usual path into the sea. Instead it flooded, pulled up there by forming and enlarging Lake Hongs and Lake Gaoyou, and flowed southwards through the Grand Canal into the Yangtze. The old path of the Wai River is now marked by a series of irrigation channels, the most significant of which is the North Jiangsu Main Irrigation Canal, Su Bei Guan Gai Zong Ku which channels a small amount of the water of the Wai River alongside south of its old path into the sea. Most of Jiangsu has a humid subtropical climate CFA or CWA in the Köppen climate classification, beginning to transition into a humid continental climate Köppen DWA in the far north. Seasonal changes are clear-cut, with temperatures at an average of minus 1 to 4 degrees Celsius 30 to 39 degrees Fahrenheit in January and 26 to 29 degrees Celsius 79 to 84 degrees Fahrenheit in July. Rain falls frequently between spring and summer typhoons with rainstorms occur in late summer and early autumn. As with the rest of the coast, tornadoes are possible. The annual average rainfall is 800 to 1,200 mm concentrated mostly in summer during the southeast monsoon. Major cities Administrative divisions Jiangsu is divided into 13 prefecture-level divisions, all prefecture-level cities including a sub-provincial city. The 13 prefecture of Jiangsu are subdivided into 98 county-level divisions 55 districts, 21 county-level cities, and 20 counties. Those are in turn divided into 1,488 township-level divisions 1,078 towns, 122 townships, one ethnic township, and 287 subdistricts. Urban areas Politics The politics of Jiangsu is structured in a one-party government system like all other governing institutions in mainland China. The governor of Jiangsu is the highest ranking official in the People's Government of Jiangsu. However, in the province's dual-party government governing system, the governor has less power than the Jiangsu Communist Party of China Provincial Committee Secretary, colloquially termed the Jiangsu CPC Party Chief. Economy <inaudible> 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 As of 2016, Jiangsu had a gross domestic product of $1.165 trillion, CN 7.739 trillion, the second highest in China. Its GDP is greater than those of Mexico and Indonesia, which are the world's 15th and 16th largest economies, respectively. Annual economic growth is around 8%. 
Jiangsu economy is the seventh largest of any country subdivision globally, behind California, England, Tokyo, Texas, New York and Guangdong. Its GDP per capita in 2016 was $14,586 ranking fourth in mainland China. The province has an extensive irrigation system supporting its agriculture, which is based primarily on rice and wheat, followed by maize and sorghum. Main cash crops include cotton, soybeans, peanuts, rapeseed, sesame, ambery hemp, and tea. Other products include peppermint, spearmint, bamboo, medicinal herbs, apples, pears, peaches, loquats, ginkgo. Silkworms form an important part of Jiangsu's agriculture, with the Lake Tai region to the south a major base of silk production in China. Jiangsu is an important producer of freshwater fish and other aquatic products. Jiangsu has coal, petroleum, and natural gas deposits, but its most significant mineral products are non-metal minerals such as halite rock salt, sulfur, phosphorus, and marble. The city of Shuzhou is a coal hub of China. The salt mines of Huayin have more than 0.4 trillion tons of deposits, one of the greatest collections of deposits in China. Jiangsu is historically oriented toward light industries such as textiles and food industry. Since 1949, Jiangsu has developed heavy industries such as chemical industry and construction materials. Jiangsu's important industries include machinery, electronic, chemicals, and automobile. The government has worked hard to promote the solar industry and hoped by 2012 the solar industry would be worth 100 billion RMB. The economic reforms of Deng Xiaoping have greatly benefited southern cities, especially Suzhou and Wuxi, which outstrip the provincial capital, Nanjing, in total output. In the eastern outskirts of Suzhou, Singapore has built the Suzhou Industrial Park, a flagship of Sino-Singaporean cooperation and the only industrial park in China that is in its entirety the investment of a single foreign country. Jiangsu is very wealthy among the provinces of China, with the second highest total GDP, after Guangdong Province. Its GDP per capita was 44,232 yuan in 2009, but a wealth gap between the prosperous south and poorer north has led to unequal economic growth. Cities like Nanjing, Suzhou, and Wuxi have GDPs per capita around twice the provincial average, making South Jiangsu one of the most prosperous regions in China. Jiangsu contains over 100 different economic and technological development zones devoted to different types of investments. Demographics The majority of Jiangsu residents are ethnic Han Chinese. Other minorities include the Wei and the Manchus. Demographic indicators in 2000 population, 74.058 million urban, 34.637 million rural, 39.421 million 2003 birth rate, 9.04 per 1000 2003 death rate, 7.03 per 1000 2003 sex ratio, 102.55 males per 100 females Average family size, 3.25 Han Chinese proportion, 99.64% literacy rate, 97.88%. Religion The predominant religions in Jiangsu are Chinese folk religions, Taoist traditions and Chinese Buddhism. According to surveys conducted in 2007 and 2009, 16.67% of the population believes and is involved in cults of ancestors, while 2.64% of the population identifies as Christian. The reports didn't give figures for other types of religion. 80.69% of the population may be either irreligious or involved in worship of nature deities, Buddhism, Confucianism, Taoism, folk religious sects, and small minorities of Muslims. Transportation Jiangsu is home to one of the most extensive transportation networks in China. Air 
Nanjing Luko International Airport IATA, NKG, serves as the major airport in the province, with flights to Tokyo, Osaka, Hong Kong, Seoul Incheon, Frankfurt, Bangkok, Milan, Vancouver and Los Angeles. Other passenger airports include Changzhou Benyu Airport, Sunan Shuofang International Airport, Yangzhou Taizhou Airport, and Nantong Airport. Air traffic in the populated Suzhou area is often diverted to Shanghai Hongqiao Airport, to which Suzhou is conveniently connected to via bus services and by expressway. Suzhou Guanyin Airport, Yancheng Nanyang Airport, and Lianyungang Beitabu Airport serve as hubs in northern Jiangsu. Rail <inaudible> 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 The southern part of the province, namely the Shanghai Nanjing Corridor, has very high frequency rail services. Jiangsu is en route of the Jinghu Railway from Beijing to Shanghai, as well as the high speed line between the two cities completed in 2011. Since the completion of the Beijing Shanghai high speed line, travel time between Beijing and Nanjing has been reduced to approximately four hours. From 11 hours previously, travel time between Nanjing and Shanghai is 1 hour and 39 minutes. Between the major urban centers of Suzhou and Nanjing, it is possible to catch a high-speed train every 5 to 10 minutes during the day. The conventional and high-speed trains pass through Kunshan, Suzhou, Wuxi, Changzhou, Danyang, Junjiang, and Nanjing. Yangzhou has been connected by railway since 2004, and Yancheng since 2007. As of 2007, all major cities in Jiangsu except Sushien have been connected, though discussions are underway to connect Sushien with Shuzhou and Yancheng via intercity rail as of late 2014. The Xinchang Railway originates in Xinyi and heads south, passing through Wai'an, Yancheng, Taizhou, Haiyan, Zhangyan and Yixing. Shuzhou, a city in northeast Jiangsu, is a very important railway junction in the province as well as the whole of China. Its prominence as a railway hub dates back to at least the Mao era. In 1975, then Vice Premier Deng Xiaoping targeted railway operations in Shuzhou as part of his overall economic reform efforts in the waning days of the Cultural Revolution. Shuzhou is the crossing point of Longhai Railway and Jinghu Railway, and its railway station is among the largest in China. The Longhai Railway terminates at port city of Lianyungang near the shore of the Pacific Ocean. Road Jiangsu's road network is one of the most developed in the country. The Beijing-Shanghai Expressway G2 enters the province from the north and passes through Wai'an, Yangzhou, Taizhou, and Wuxi on the way to Shanghai. Traveling from Shanghai westbound, G2 forks at Wuxi and continues on to Nanjing separately as G42, the Shanghai-Nanjing Expressway, which serves the widely traveled southern corridor of the province. The Ningchang Expressway links Nanjing with Changzhou. The Suzhou area is extensively networked with expressways, going in all directions. The Yanhai Expressway links the coastal regions of the province, passing through Nantong, Yancheng, and Lianyungang. Historically, the province was divided by the Yangtze River into northern and southern regions. The first bridge across the river in Jiangsu, the Nanjing Yangtze River Bridge, was completed in 1968 during the Cultural Revolution. The second bridge crossing, Zhangyin Bridge, opened 30 years later at Zhangyin. As of October 2014, there were 11 cross Yangtze bridges in the province, including the five in Nanjing, which also has two cross river tunnels. The Zhangyin Bridge, 1,385 meters, 4,544 feet, Runyang Bridge, opened in 2005, connecting Yangzhou and Junjiang, 1,490 meters, 4,890 feet, and Fourth Nanjing Bridge, opened in 2012, 1,418 meters, 4,652 feet, all rank among the ten longest suspension bridges in the world. The Sutong Bridge, opened in 2008, connecting Nantong and Changshu, has one of the longest cable-stayed bridge spans in the world, at 1,088 meters 3,570 feet. Culture The four mass migrations in the 4th, 8th, 12th and 14th centuries had been influential in shaping the regional culture of Jiangsu. 
According to dialects and the other factors, the province can be roughly segmented four major cultural subdivisions, Wu, Wu Jinling, Jinling Waiyang, Waiyang and Zui, Shu Wai from southeast to northwest. The belts of transition blurred the boundaries. Jiangsu is rich in cultural traditions. Kunchu, originating in Kunshan, is one of the most renowned and prestigious forms of Chinese opera. Pingtan, a form of storytelling accompanied by music, is also popular. It can be subdivided into types by origin: Suzhou Pingtan of Suzhou, Yangzhou Pingtan of Yangzhou, and Nanjing Pingtan of Nanjing. Wuxi opera, a form of traditional Chinese opera, is popular in Wuxi, while Waiju is popular further north, around Yancheng. Jiangsu cuisine is one of the eight great traditions of the cuisine of China. Suzhou is also well known for its silk, Chinese embroidery, jasmine tea, stone bridges, pagodas, and classical gardens. Nearby Yixing is noted for its teaware while Yangzhou is known for its lacquerware and jadeware. Nanjing's yunjin is a noted type of woven silk. Since ancient times, South Jiangsu has been famed for its prosperity and opulence, and simply inserting South Jiangsu place names Suzhou, Yangzhou, etc. into poetry gave an effect of dreaminess, as was indeed done by many famous poets. In particular, the fame of Suzhou as well as Hangzhou in neighboring Zhejiang has led to the popular saying, Shang Yu Tian Tang Sha Yu Su Above there is heaven, below there are Suzhou and Hangzhou. A saying that continues to be a source of pride for the people of these two still prosperous cities. Similarly, the prosperity of Yangzhou has led poets to dream of Yao Chan Shi Wan Guan Chi He Sha Yang with a hundred thousand strings of coins wrapped around its waist, a crane landed in Yangzhou. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Higher Education. As of 2015, Jiangsu hosts 137 institutions of higher education, ranking first of all Chinese provinces. There are two Project 985 and 11 Project 211 universities in the province. A combination of 93 members of Chinese Academy of Sciences and Chinese Academy of Engineering work in Jiangsu. China Pharmaceutical University, a Project 211 university, China University of Mining and Technology, a Project 211 University Hohai University, a Project 211 University Nanjing University, a Project 985 and Project 211 University Nanjing Agricultural University, a Project 211 University Nanjing Normal University, a Project 211 University Nanjing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics, a Project 211 University Nanjing University of Science and Technology, a Project 211 University Jiangnan University, a Project 211 University Southeast University, a Project 985 and Project 211 University Suzhou University, a Project 211 University Topic. Tourism Nanjing was the capital of several Chinese dynasties and contains a variety of historic sites, such as the Purple Mountain, Purple Mountain Observatory, the Sun Yat-sen Mausoleum, Ming Dynasty City Wall and Gates, Ming Xiaoling Mausoleum the Mausoleum of the First Ming Emperor, Zhu Yenzhong, Lake Xuanwu, Jiming Temple, the Nanjing Massacre Memorial, Nanjing Confucius Temple, Nanjing Yangtze River Bridge, and the Nanjing Zoo, along with its circus. Suzhou is renowned for its classical gardens designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, as well as the Hanshan Temple, and Huchu Tower. Nearby is the water town of Zhoujuang, an international tourist destination with Venice-like waterways, bridges and dwellings, which have been preserved over centuries. Yangzhou is known for slender West Lake. Wuxi is known for being the home of the world's tallest Buddha statue. In the north, Suzhou is designated as one of China's eminent historical cities. The official travel and tourism website for Jiangsu was set up in 2008. Lion Garden in Suzhou Grand Buddha at Ling Shan, Wuxi Chaoshan Palace Shixia Temple Tianning Temple Pagoda Tombs of Southern Tang Emperor Yangzhong Puffer Fish Café Zeeland 
Topic: Sports. Professional sports teams in Jiangsu include Chinese Super League, Jiangsu Suning FC, China League Two, Jiangsu Yancheng Dingli FC, Nantong Ziyun FC, Suzhou Dongwu FC, Junjiang Wasa FC. Chinese Basketball Association Jiangsu Dragons Nanjing Monkey King Chinese Volleyball League Jiangsu Zenith Steel China Baseball League Jiangsu Pegasus International relations Topic: Twin towns and sister cities. Aichi, Japan. Topic: See also. Major national historical and cultural sites in Jiangsu. Jiangsu Hong Kong Personnel Training Cooperation Program. Equals equals notes. <laughs>